here. Today we're going to be taking a look at another Japan mystery package. The last one was about a year ago almost. I'm not a, um, what's I saying? Oh, it was the other one was about a year ago. And so, now we've got another one to open. And I have it upside down so you can't see my address. What treasures await us inside is indeed the question. So, we are very careful, since there are some very important things that need to be safe. Okay, I have the box upside down, so I don't know how well this is going to be packed. But um, I had to be upside down so you wouldn't see my address. Oh, 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 that's a huge book. I did not. Okay, well, um, without opening them each individually, where do I have to? I guess I probably have to. Um, Very careful not to actually slice the book. <laughs> so here we have first up first edition print of Q the Spook. The only time Wake no Kutaro was ever printed in English from 1974, I want to say. Nope, 71. And it's in pretty decent shape. It was the only one online, and I got it for a good price. And um, no scans of that exist online, and only, I think, two or three pages exist online. Next up is a bunch of model reference sheets used in production of the 2017 Dramon film. And I believe these were printed as packets like this and given to the staff during production of the film. So while these are in hand, John, um, they are indeed concept sketches used during the film's production for the artist team. Okay, next up, we've got these, and so let me just open up this in a sec. This isn't super exciting, this was an impulse buy, so it was kind of a mistake, because um, these were 1 yen, which is a penny, and um, then the import fees packed up, making it almost 20 bucks. So, <laughs> this wasn't worth it. But, I now have these crossover pieces, so needle burrito. Next up is this? What is th Oh, I think I know what this is. Okay, um... This was another impulse buy. This was 100 yen, which was about a dollar. And it is two very small capsule Thomas ships that looked super cool. So, um. We've got a. Uh, the Lucidina, which is the big ship that is usually in Brentum. And I think these are the capital range, there's no copyright on them. And then we have this fishing vessel that looks very nice. And the reason I got those is because for Christmas I'm collecting some end scale stuff, and I'm getting a starter set of Thomas. I wanted another engine, and the whole reason I'd bid on the site again for the first time in a long time. It's handy. I almost want James to come up with me. But the most important one, and the rarer one of the two, is definitely Hummy, which I want. Let open this up. So, what's the baby? Here is Henry in a box. With 
with uh, the Express Pre Coach. I need a composite coach. There's one on eBay, but it's uh yeah eBay. It's a uh, hundred thirty bucks for the composite coach. But um, I got Henry. So that's really nice. I think this is a later edition because of the newer logo. I can't see what the date. Doesn't say. Not that my camera will focus, so you can read it. But um, quite nice, very nice. What I really wanted. I believe there are still two more packages in here. I didn't get any VHS tapes at around this time. I tried, but the bit end of the fourth put my price in. So. No VHS cassettes this time, sadly. But we do got some other cool Nico Bridio stuff. Oh, gotta be very careful with this. Got it. Doraemon Ando record. Oh, this should be clean. Let me open it real quick. I'm not a record collector, so I'm not too sure how good condition this is. I do have some records though, so... Uh, 45. Looks to be in good shape, at least it's not cracked. So I look forward to hearing that. Um... Problem is, my record player is in my closet, so which is buried, so that will be a while yet before I can listen to that song. I'm trying to put it back without damaging the cover. So that would be nice. Listen to it, and put it back in its other protective sleeve. Okay, and tape that down. And what I believe to be, last but not least, is... Oh, there's two items in here, I forgot. Let me just open this up real quick with my razor. Almost cut my leg. Is the other super rare Perman CD that we tried to buy on eBay once, but they scammed us out of. So I got it from this site, which has um, some nice, clean instrumentals on them, which I will be using soon. And uh, this English album, which a bunch of anime on the cover that I don't know, but on the back, it says, I uh, can't really read it, Kutaro, oh, Kutaro the Ghost and uh, Doraemon the Song which will be in English, so can't wait to hear what that sounds like. It's produced in 1993, so I'm quite curious to know which kind of Kutaro theme they used. But that is everything. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, this way is right from here, though. Adios!